so in this uh, lecture we are going to look for methods for finding particular integral which are called shortcut methods or they are also called concise methods shortcut methods for finding particular integral let us say type 1 type 1 e raised to ax type 1 is e raised to ax now what we will do is we will take f of d equal to a differential operator so let f of d be a differential operator that is f of d is equal to t is to n plus b1 d is to n minus 1 plus dot dot bn minus 1 d plus bn so this is a differential operator fd now we'll operate this fd on e raised to ax operate fd on e raised to ax means f of d is equal to f of d e raised to ax is equal to right here also e raised to ax this means i've just written e raised to ax to the right hand side what is fd fd is d raised to n plus b1 d raised to n minus 1 plus bn minus 1 d plus bn what are b1 b2 bn this b1 b2 bn minus 1 are just numbers they are just real numbers so bi's are real numbers which is equal to this e raised to ax will go and operate on multiply each of the person on this side which is d raised to n e raised to ax plus b1 d n minus 1 e raised to ax plus bn minus 1 d e raised to ax plus bn e raised to ax which is equal to what is this equal to so i will draw start writing this from the right hand side instead of starting from the this side from the left hand side so this b and e power ax will be as it is plus i'm writing it the reverse way b n minus one derivative of e raised to ax is a e raised to ax so what will be the previous term here bn minus 2 derivative of d square of e raised to ax is ke pehle ka term kya hoga bn minus 2 d square e raised to ax so what is the derivative of derivative is this a square e raised to ax and therefore i make a guess that what will this be it will be b1 a raised to the power of the derivative if it is d square it is becoming a square it is a raised to n minus 1 e raised to ax plus what about d raised to n ax it is a raised to n e raised to 
AX. Okay, so all the D's basically have been replaced by what? The D's have been replaced by A's. Correct. So this means I can now I can pull out this uh, A, E raised to AX again. And what will I get? I get A raised to N. Plus B1 A raised to N minus 1 plus BN minus 1 A plus BN. I have not written this step, okay? Which is equal to now what is this person who is this person this is just look at what is fd f of d was this so if i replace d by a i will get this step so this is nothing but f of a so just replace d by a this is nothing but what f of a f of a is a raised to n plus f of d is d raised to n plus so into e raised to ax so what is the conclusion of all this calculation what did i what was my left hand side my left hand side was f d e raised to ax is equal to f a e raised to ax means d has been simply replaced by a therefore conclusion the conclusion of our calculation this this means that i will remember for my simplicity that d will be replaced by a simply okay this is what we will remember the formula says that just replace the d by a now, now what i will do is i will operate one upon fd now what is one upon fd one upon fd is something like an integral operator so i will operate one fd is a differential operator and one upon fd is something like an integral operator so operate one over fd both sides so this means that one over one f of d into f of d e raised to ax is equal to one upon f of d right hand side is f of a e raised to ax what is 1 upon fd and fd so this is like integral and this is like differential and they will cancel out each other in some sense and therefore what will remain is to only e power ax is equal to this is something like an integral operator okay now we know that what is integral of some constant times constant times exponential function okay and let me say constant times e raised to 2x we just pull out the constant right because there is no x here correct here also there is no x so this is as good as a constant and here there is an x e raised to ax and this is like looking like an integral operator correct so this means that f of a will simply come out of the integral operator and this integral will get stuck to the function e power x okay and therefore what i will do is i will shift this f of a to the it's a constant so i will shift it to the left hand side so what will it look like it look like one upon f of a e raised to ax is equal to 1 upon f of d e power ax but but one thing i should be careful whenever i am dividing this f of a to the left hand side i should be careful that f of a should not be equal to zero otherwise you will you cannot divide something by zero if so when when can i do this when can i divide this if f of a is not equal to zero okay so this is one of the important formula that 
we have derived from this particular calculation. Let me write it as a formula. Now, while remembering the formula, how am I going to remember the formula? I'm going to remember it like this. 1 upon f of d e raised to ax z equal to 1 upon f of a. See, I told you the hint. What is the hint? Replace d by a, just. And write the same thing again. Provided what? If f of a is not equal to zero. Okay, so this formula now we will remember one upon f of d e power a x is equal to one upon f of a e power a. Now I want to see a problem. Uh, how will I solve a differential equation using this formula as fast as possible? Okay, so let me take a example. Take an example. solve d2y by dx square plus 3 dy by dx plus 2y is equal to e raised to 5x. So solution. This is d square plus 3dy 3d plus 2y is equal to e power 5x. So auxiliary equation, which is f of m equal to 0, which is f of m is equal to m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. So m is equal to minus 1 and minus 2. So this means a complementary function is c1 e power minus 1x plus c2 e power minus 2x. Okay, so the complementary function has nothing to do with my previous shortcut method. Now, while finding the shortcut method, I see that yp is equal to finding the particular integral, sorry, yp is equal to 1 upon f of d e power 5x is equal to what is 1 upon f? What is f of d? d square plus 3d plus 2. So which is equal to 1 upon d square plus 3d plus 2 e power 5x. So I've reached this step. Now I will use my formula. What is my formula? My formula is saying that if you have 1 upon f of d e power ax, you have to just replace your d by a so it is equal to what so d by who is a here now there a is 5 see that a is 5 so replace d by 5 which is equal to 1 upon 5 square plus 3 into 5 plus 2 e power 5x as it is okay what is what formula have i used here i will write it again 1 upon f of d e power ax is equal to 1 upon f of a e power ax don't forget the c e power ax okay e power ax remains at it which is just 1 upon 25 plus 15 plus 2 whatever that constant is 30 40 for whatever Okay, this is the answer. Now y is equal to y plus y. You see, it took us a very short amount of time to actually solve this particular problem. Okay, now the thing is that the thing is that you will be asking me a question that if the right hand side is only what should be the right hand side? The right hand side must be of the format e power ax. Only then I can use this particular formula, right? Uh, so what if the right hand side is something slightly different than e power ax? Okay, so uh, we can take once we can take a note. We can take a note.
we all know that uh, what is uh, what is the what is three power x what is three power x now see we know what is e power 3x that is okay but what is three power x this means i'm trying to tell you that um, what is a power b let me write it as what is a power b a power b can be written as e raised to log a power b why i can write this because we know that x can always be written as e power log x okay x can always be written as e power log so what am i replacing x by i'm replacing x by a raised to b so i will get a raised to b is equal to e raised to log a raised to b therefore i'm getting that a raised to b is equal to b log a e raised to b log a this is the property of logarithm that log of a raised to b can be written as b log a now this this thing is going to help me in what in suppose i want to write what is a power x i can write a power x as what using the same the thing e raised to x log a so this is going to help me in my problems this is the first note what is the second note any constant any constant k k is any constant can be written as can be written as k in is equal to k into 1 which is equal to k into e raised to 0x because e raised to 0 is nothing but 1 this is the second note see how am i going to use all these notes okay third we have functions which are called as sin hyperbolic x and another function which is called as cos hyperbolic x a function which is called as sin hyperbolic x and another function is cos hyperbolic x okay what is sin hyperbolic x and cos hyperbolic x so cos hyperbolic x is e power x plus e power minus x divided by 2 and sin hyperbolic x is just the opposite of that e power x minus e power minus x divided by 2 in general in general what is sin hyperbolic ax sin hyperbolic ax is same logic e power ax minus e power minus ax divided by 2 and cos hyperbolic x is ax is e power ax plus e power minus ax divided by 2 okay so these three to four three notes i am going to use in the next problem see you now what is the use of this exercise solve t2 y by t is square plus y is equal to Let us solve this solution. So the auxiliary equation. I'm going now. I'm going faster. It's f m equal to. This is d square plus one y. Three. So auxiliary equation is m square plus one equal to zero. Plus 
and this means m is equal to plus minus i which is a complex root alpha is 0 and beta is 1 and we know what is the complementary function written as y c equal to e power alpha x but alpha is 0 c1 cos x beta is 1 plus c2 sin x so this is the complementary function if you are still getting stuck in how this comes why this comes, please go through the previous lectures now yp is 1 upon fd of the right hand side who is the right hand side the right hand side is 3 which is 1 upon fd is d squared plus 1 any constant can be written as constant into e raised to 0x 3 e raised to 0x but 3 is a constant so it can come out of the integration e raised to 0x and what is the formula now 1 upon fd e power ax is equal to f of a so what is the value of a here a is 0 so just replace d by 0 so it means that 3 1 upon 0 squared plus 1 e raised to 0x but e raised to 0 is also 1 right so this is also 1 this is also 1 so finally this becomes 3 so your yp is just 3 therefore your general solution becomes c1 cos x plus c2 sin x plus yc plus yp yp came up to be 3 so i hope this is understood let me take one more example so d square plus 1 y 2 raised to x remember it is not e raised to ax the formula is only for e raised to ax but i know that 2 raised to x can be written in the form of exponential why because we have done that in the note where is our note gone see anything raised to x can be written as exponential person right so this means that there is a question yes so the solution again your fm is m square plus one and therefore the roots are complex m equal to plus minus i and therefore the solution complementary function is c1 cos x plus c2 sin x what is yp yp is 1 upon f of d right hand side is 2 raised to x so we adjust 2 raised to x this i'm writing only for you the sake of your notes okay exam may you don't have to write anything okay adjust 2 raised to x as e raised to x log 2 because of the note that i've given you up note 1 Okay, which is equal to 1 upon d square plus 1 into e raised to log 2 multiplied by x. This is x multiplied by log 2. So this is as good as log 2 multiplied by log 2 multiplied by x. And now this means that who is working now as my a in this problem? The person who is working as a in my problem is log 2. So a is log 2. This means that d should be replaced by what? d should be replaced just by log 2, which is equal to 1 upon log 2 whole square. It is not log 2 square, it is log 2 the whole square, d square plus 1. See, I hope you know the difference between log 2 whole square 
and log 2 square. Log 2 square will become log 4. Okay. E raised to, don't forget this. E, otherwise, students write this much and they, they leave it. But there is to complete it. E raised to log 2 x. So this is now function properly of x. This becomes your yp. Let's take a last problem. D minus two whole square y is equal to sine hyperbolic x solution. Fm is equal to m minus two whole square equal to zero. So m is equal to two and two. So the roots are real and repeated therefore what is the complementary function c1 e power 2x plus c2 x e power 2x again if you are not understanding this you can see the previous lectures yp is equal to 1 upon f of d right hand side right hand side is sine hyperbolic x but i know sine hyperbolic x can be written as e raised to x so i know the formula for only exponential person so one upon f of d what is f of d f of d is d minus 2 whole square d minus 2 whole square e raised to x minus e raised to minus x upon 2 as far as this integration is concerned as far as this integration this 2 can come outside the integration because it's a constant it has nothing to do with the integral so 1 upon 2 into 1 upon d minus 2 whole square e power x minus e power minus x this is as good as demanding that what is integral of something minus something i can say this is integral of this minus integral of this so this is what i'm going to do look this imagine this as a integral then it will life will be easy one upon two integral say hum log exponential bahar nahi nikal sakte. remember that okay so that is the same reason that these people cannot come to the left hand side so easily like two so this will be half 1 upon d minus 2 whole square e raised to x minus 1 upon d minus 2 whole square e raised to minus x which is equal to half here who is playing the role of a now here role of a is 1 so in this part in the first part replace d by 1 because it is e raised to ax ka jo rehta hai, wo a hota hai. So in this first part, a is 1. So replace d by 1. But in the second part, e raised to minus x means a is what? a is equal to minus 1. So d here in this second part, d has to be replaced by minus 1. So this will mean that 1 upon 1 minus 2 whole square e raised to 1x minus 1 upon minus 1 minus 2 whole square e raised to minus x okay i have used the formula for two different different parts which is equal to half this will be 1 into e power x minus this will be 1 over 9 e power minus x so this becomes your yp no need of simple I, I don't think so we can simplify it so this much is sufficient and therefore you get a general solution is y is equal to yc plus yp okay
okay so in this second part we are going to now look at something called as cases of failures let me write the title is cases of failure suppose f of a suppose f of a is equal to 0 means we cannot use the formula basically we cannot use this formula 1 upon f d e power a x is equal to 1 upon f of a e power a x we cannot use this formula because in that case this person has become equal to 0 okay so then what will you do if such a thing appears so what thing we will do is we will first factorize f of d so factorize factorize f of d we always factorize right for finding the auxiliary equation we always factorize f of d correct so factorize f of d and write it as equal to d minus a because we know that a is uh, becoming 0, f of a is 0 means a is root. So factor will be d minus a confirmed. And whatever remaining part is there, that remaining part I will call as g of d. Okay, so I have taken out that factor d minus a from my f of d. Okay, now what is this g of g into g of d? You will understand when we actually solve the problem. You will understand what is this g of d. Okay, so then what will my formula become? So what will be one upon f of uh, sorry? What will be the for, what will be one upon f of d e raised to a x? We are trying to find a formula for this and what is given to us that f of a is equal to zero. So I cannot write one upon f of a e power x. Now what is this equal to? This will be equal to. I'm trying to make a trying to find an alternative formula. Is equal to one upon d minus a into g of d because I know f of d is equal to this. Okay, into e power a x. This is equal to this. These two operators I can swap. We have done the swapping earlier also. The second right g of d into d minus a into e power a it's the same thing so i'm just integrating this first now and which is equal to one upon g into d g of d into one upon d minus a e power ax okay i'll just go through the calculation once i finish this calculation then you will understand that what you have actually performed okay this is equal to 1 upon g of g d into now what is 1 upon d minus a e power a x we already know that by general method whenever a trouble comes we go for the general method so what is what is known to us by general method what i know is that 1 upon d minus m phi of x is equal to what e power mx integral e power minus mx into phi of x this is dx this is my general method so i will use that formula for general method over here so what is the value of m in this case for the general method the value of m is equal to a correct so d minus m and d minus a so m is a so what will this a become e power mx sorry e power ax integral e power minus ax into phi of x who is my phi of x who is my right hand side phi of x is e power ax dx and this integration is very easy because this and this cancels and this becomes this dx so which is equal to 1 upon g of d e power ax into x this becomes e power ax into x
okay now uh, now what will i do with now this x cannot come outside this integration and this e power ax also cannot come out of this integration so it is as good as looking as one up integral of e power ax into x okay which i am really not of uh, very of comfort because i know that i can use my what is our shortcut formula for shortcut formula if i write for gd the shortcut formula for gd will be e power ax is equal to 1 upon g of a e power ax i'm just re replacing f by g okay this is a shortcut formula so d will be replaced by a shortcut formula is only for e raised to ax it is not for e raised to ax multiplied by x okay so the crux of this entire story is that i will be getting stuck here and i cannot move ahead right so this means that this swapping that we have done this swapping was not a smart steps okay see this this is also important but should i swap them or should i keep them as it is okay so this swapping was is creating a problem at this last end i hope this is clear to us that why i cannot proceed with this particular thing right so if i don't swap so if i don't swap and if i just look at this particular part then probably my life will become very easy now see what will i do so i will just keep this 1 upon d minus a with gd e power x and i will look at only this part and let me put a bracket and let me write a one year and this one upon e as a rakhenge okay. isko okay i am not swapping now what is 1 upon gd e power ax now i can use my shortcut formula which we have done and gd will be replaced by what d will be just replaced by a so this d when i replace by a there's just one step in between okay 1 upon d minus a will be as it is and this will become what 1 upon g a e power ax and this 1 upon g a is constant as far as the integrate this is integration and this 1 upon g a is a constant and that 1 upon g a will come outside the integration it will be 1 upon g a 1 upon d a e raised now i know what is this so now this d g d has become what it has become g a just a constant this is as it is this 1 upon g d has become g a this is again the same and this 1 upon g d has converted to what g a it's just a constant so this is the formula for if a if f of a is equal to 0 if what f of a is equal to 0 but what 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 is the thing that i should be careful i can use this formula i can use this formula if what if g of a is not equal to 0 so g of a should not wo zero ho gaya to kya hoga that will be my next question okay so i will assume that g of a is not equal to 0 now what is the meaning of this entire calculation is is it is it very difficult to understand uh, for us with this entire thing tells me that Mm, this entire thing. What is the conclusion of all this entire thing? That if f of a is equal to zero, okay, then what is the conclusion? Then f of one upon f d e power a x is equal to what? This one upon g a. Sorry, one upon g a. 
e power ax into x okay so this formula and provided what provided g of a is not equal to zero okay so this is the conclusion of my entire step now this is not really very easy to remember this formula is really not very easy to remember but when i solve problems it will be thing that it is very very easy you don't need to remember any formula so let me take one example i hope you have copied all the stuff in your books i'll just minimize it for one minute again so that you can copy if something is left the stuff here exercise sort d minus 2 d minus 3y is equal to e raised to 2x okay solution f m is equal to m minus 2 m minus 3 so m is equal to 2 and 3 so the complementary function is c1 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to 3x what is y p 1 upon f of d e raised to 2x which is equal to 1 upon d minus 2 d minus 3 e raised to 2x okay now what does the formula tell me the formula now let us understand the formula okay we will not learn the formula but the formula tells me that jahan par problem nahi hai wahan pe dal do d equal to a wherever there is no problem put d equal to a wherever there is a problem omit that person and just insert one x okay this is what the formula is trying to tell i will do the same thing this means that अगर मैं d अगर मैं d को 2 से रिप्लेस करता हूं तो यहां पर प्रॉब्लम हो जाएगा बिकॉज जीरो हो जाएगा वन अपॉन जीरो हो जाएगा लेकिन यहां पर तो प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा करेक्ट सो कहां पे प्रॉब्लम यहां पे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं बिकॉज दिस इज माइनस वन दिस इज ऑल्सो गुड योर इज द प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम है क्या उसको निकाल दो and instead of that just put what just multiply in x this is the meaning of the form without learning the formula i am direct to write down so this is minus x e is to 2x very simple okay i hope it is understood let us do one more problem solve d cube minus 7d square plus 6y equal to e raise to x sorry 7d sorry 7d solution fm is equal to m cube minus 7d 7m plus 6 so this is a cubic equation so i will make one guess i clearly see that if i put m equal to 1 then is root because if this will be 1 minus 7 plus 6 which will be minus 6 plus 6 will become 0 so clearly m is equal to 1 is root the other two roots i will find by your synthetic division 1 coefficient of d square is 0 minus 7 and uh, 
this will be root one this will be one this is addition is one 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 is a one minus seven plus one is minus six and this is minus six and this is zero so i'm getting m squared plus m minus six is equal to zero which is m plus three m minus two is equal to zero so the roots are m is equal to two and minus three so I got three roots m equal to one, m equal to two, and m equal to minus three. Therefore, the complementary function yc will be equal to c1 e power x plus c2 e power 2x plus c3 e power minus 3x. When I go for yp, yp is one upon fd, right hand side is e raised to x. Let me confirm. Yes. And the left hand side is a d cube minus 70 plus 6. So this is 1 upon d cube minus 70 plus 6 e raised to x. Okay. And then my usual method says that a is 1. So C. Be careful all of you, okay? Don't write in your notebooks now for this step. Put a equal to 1 means a is 1. So put d equal d replaced by 1. When I do that, I do not know that this is going to be some problematic case of failure, okay? I am doing it naturally as I know. When some problem arises, then I will understand that this is the case of failure. So I will say, okay, fine. So this is 1. 1 cube minus 7 into 1 plus 6 e power 1x and then I understand that this person is becoming 0. So now I will immediately erase the step and I will write as a case of failure. Yeah, I will write this in your exams also. Case of failure means there is some problem if I put a equal to 1 and d is replaced by 1. So this means whenever the case of failure comes, I will immediately write the factors. Do I know what are the factors? The factors are ready here. Roots are ready. 1, 2, and minus 3. So the factors will be d minus 1, d minus 2, and d plus 3 into e raised to 1x. And then I say that wherever there is no problem, put d equal to 1 directly. So d equal to 1 replaced by wherever there is no problem, 1 upon. Here there is no problem, 1 minus 2. Here also there is no problem, 1 plus 3, e is to 1x. Kaha pe problem aagya? Here there is a problem. So just multiply it by x. So the final answer will be this will be 4 and this will be minus 1. So minus 6 upon 4 e power x is the particular solution. Let me do one more sum for having the failure case. Okay, now sometimes it happens. Uh, okay, let me just give you one one more thing. Sometimes it may happen that uh, the f the failure case person, the person which is giving you the wrong and uh, which is giving you zero in the denominator, may come more than once. Okay, more than once means I mean to say that d minus one is coming only once. What will happen if this could have uh, this was d minus 1 square then then you can then life is not so easy okay so this is because see all my theory that i have explained to you on the upside is was saying that the function kaha gaya, haan, see a d minus a factor a ki bar aaya hai, okay and gd is all that remaining polynomial okay in the previous the example that we saw now was d minus 1 d minus 2 and what d plus 3 so who was playing the role of g of d this was gd and who was playing the role of d minus a this was the role playing this person was playing the role of d so ye 
this method that I've told you is only will only work for if d minus a comes only once. But it may happen that d minus a factor जो है that may come more than once. So उस केस में हमें क्या करना चाहिए? So अगर एक बार आ गया तो हम x से multiply करेंगे. We will just multiply by x. अगर दो बार आया तो हम क्या करेंगे? Write a theorem now. One upon F D E power A X is equal to X raised to R upon R factorial one upon g of a e power a x where f of t is equal to d minus a power r g of t okay where r is natural number it should come at least once do you understand this formula now this formula says that if the factor is coming how many times if it is coming r times if it is coming r times then instead of multiplying just by x you will now multiply by what x raised to r upon r factor so put r equal to 1 if you put r equal to 1 this means that you have to just multiply by x raised to 1 upon 1 factorial and we have already been been doing this x raised to 1 upon 1 factorial means just x if it is coming twice, then what will I multiply? I will solve this part. जैसे मैंने यहाँ पे किया था, ये सब को जिनको problem नहीं है, उनको मैं लिख दूँगा। वहाँ पे मैं d equal to one डाल दूँगा। और यहाँ पे अगर square आ जाता था question में, तो मैं यहाँ पे इससे कहाँ, इससे कौन से number से multiply करता था? Instead of multiplying by x, I will multiply it by what? X square upon two factorial. This is what is the only change that you have to do if it is coming once i will multiply it by x raised to one upon one factorial means x if it is coming thrice i will multiply it by x cube upon three factorial or baki sub just jaha pe problem nahi hai waha pe mein directly d equal to a dal dunga is it clear to you now okay so before i use this before i take problems on this particular thing we must spend some time on Proving this particular theorem without any big issues, okay? As as quick as possible, we must be able to prove this theorem because it is very very important for our problems now onwards. Now, let me go to the proof. It is of two minute to three minutes job. So what I will do as soon as you see that R is in, I can immediately use induction. So by induction. The first step of induction was P1. Try to prove P1. So what am I supposed to prove? I'm supposed to prove that 1 upon f of d e power ax is equal to x raised to 1 upon 1 factorial 1 upon g of a e power ax r equal to 1, okay? Here r is equal to 1. Where what is f of d? Where f of d is equal to d minus a into g of d. This we have already proved above. P1 is already proved above. This is what we have proved in the upper. So basically, in the previous part that I have shown you, the formula, we have proved this. This was a very very general formula. हमने क्या किया? R equal to one के लिए वहाँ पे ऊपर हमने proof दे दिया. I hope everybody remembers that. Let me quickly revise that. कहाँ है वो R equal to one? See this. Okay. Here, what is the value of r? r is equal to 1. So, we have already proved it. See, you have used this formula, integrated it, 
cancelled it we got x so r equal to 1 for r equal to 1 the formula is already true okay if this question is asked in your exams you have to prove that r equal to 1 ka case jo humne upar solve kiya hai you have to write here in your answers you just cannot say that this is already proved in your examinations step 2 assume the formula is true assume the formula is true for k that is pk is true p of k is true that is 1 upon fd e power ax is equal to x raised to k upon k factorial 1 upon g of a e power ax what is fd where f of d is d minus a raised to k gd so assume this now don't prove it at all step 3 of induction prove pk plus 1 prove pk plus 1 to show what am i supposed to show i'm supposed to show this formula is true for k plus 1 so i want to show that 1 upon f of t e power ax is equal to x raised to k plus 1 upon k plus 1 factorial 1 upon g of a e power ax and this is what i want to show if i want to show this i will start with my left hand side the left hand side is 1 upon f of d e power ax is equal to what is f of d here what is f of d if i'm going for the k plus 1 stage f of d is d minus a raised to k plus 1 g of d where let me write it here where what is f of d where f of d is d minus a raised to k plus 1 g of d e power ax jahan pe koi problem nahi hai ye 1 upon g will become d will be replaced by a I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now I will separate this k plus 1 power into k power. So I will write this as 1 upon d minus c into 1 upon d minus c raised to k into g of d into e power ax and this this d i will put it as substituted by a so this will become 1 upon d minus g d ko koi problem nahi hoga so g a will become so this will be d minus a raised to k and this will become 1 upon g a okay e power ax i hope there is no issue g a will come outside the integration throughout so this will be 1 upon g a 1 upon d minus a into 1 upon d minus a power k e power ax okay what is 1 upon d power a is to k e power ax this i want to write it as what this i want to write it as let me write what i want to write it as 1 upon d minus a g a 1 upon d minus a this i want to actually write it as x raised to r upon r factorial e raised to ax okay justification below justification why i'm writing this i will justify it after this okay 
again this r factorial has nothing to do with the integration so i will pull out the r factorial so it is 1 upon ga 1 upon r factorial 1 upon d minus a x is to r e is to ax This is equal to 1 upon g minus a, g a, 1 upon r factorial. Here I will use the formula of the general method. What is the formula of the general method? It is e power a x integration e power minus a x into the function phi of x is x raised to r e raised to a x dx. And again here what happens is that this and this cancels. And this will become 1 upon g a 1 over r factorial e raised to a x and integration of x raised to r will become x raised to r plus 1 upon r plus 1 and therefore this r factorial in r plus 1 will become r plus 1 factorial so it will become x raised to r plus 1 upon r plus 1 factorial 1 upon g a into e power a x. I know this is a slight difficult thing. So this is what was the expected thing RHS. Just check whether this is RHS. This is what was the right hand side. So it started with the left hand side. We started with this and we have reached the right hand side. Only one step is remaining to justify how did i get this particular thing so it is very easy justification by 1 upon d minus a raised to k e raised to ax will be equal to x raised to r upon r factorial e raised to ax now how will i justify this what is r where r is again a natural number how will i justify this why so can you guess now why this is the thing again this result this is also some result which is which i'm supposed to prove it for natural numbers and again i will prove this by induction Let's prove this by induction very simple again So I will leave this as an exercise to you. Just try to prove this using your induction. Put k equal put uh, sorry not k. I mean k like the R like R like na chahiye tha ya k like na chahiye. Mixed k and r's. So let's write k. Okay. So once you prove it for k k equal to one, assume it for k k and then try to prove it for k plus 1 this will be very easy if not i will try to clarify in the next class with this we will stop here